Rahim. I start in the name of Allah, the All-Merciful, the Ever-Merciful, and the Everlasting Curse be on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, Allah's blessings and peace be upon you. And welcome to Who is Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life starting from his miraculous birth, then talking about some of the events and stories happened to him during his early life, mentioning some of the prophetic quotes said in his right by the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad, his grandfather, and then ending up with his unmatchable martyrdom. I am Hassan Hadi, and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, in this episode, we will be talking about Muslim bin Aqil's capture by the army of Ubaidullah bin Ziyad, Allah's curses be upon him. Our respected viewers, as Muslim wandered the city, he found refuge in the home of a woman named Tawa. At first, she shooted him away from the door, but when she learned his true identity, she hid him. When her son Bilal returned home so far and found his mother going back and forth from one of the rooms, he demanded to know what was going on inside the house. After swearing him to secrecy, she told him of the guest that was at their house. Our respected viewers, that night, Ubaidullah bin Ziyad, Allah's curses be upon him, had ordered an assembly at the mosque. After the evening prayer, so far he ascended the member, he began by insulting Muslim bin Aqil, Imam Hussein's messenger to Kufa, Allah's blessings and peace be upon them both, and threatening anyone who gave him shelter so far. Ibn Aqil, the stupid and ignorant man, has attempted to raise the opposition and rebellion you have witnessed so far, he said. Ibn Ziyad then went on saying, there will be no security from Allah the Almighty for the man in whose house we find Muslim bin Aqil and whoever brings him to me will have the reward for his blood so far. With that, he ordered a search of all the houses of Kufa to begin in the morning as soon as possible. Yet Bilal, the son of Tawa, broke his promise and told someone else that Muslim bin Aqil, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, was hiding in his home and the news quickly made it back to Ibn Ziyad, Allah's curses be upon him, who sent out a party of more than 70 men to capture him so far. Ibn Aqil, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, fought fearlessly despite being overwhelmingly outnumbered by the army of Ibn Ziyad until his face had been cut. Two of his teeth had been knocked out, his head and shoulder severely wounded. Some of the people present then even began to throw stones at him so far. Despite all of this, Muslim continued to fight. Peace be upon you, O Master of Martyrs, when you were born and when you were murdered and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, this is the end of today's episode. Until we meet again, let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the Master of our time to interpret the message of the Grandfather, who says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.